Westminster Church began here in the mountains of Pennsylvania about 38 years ago. Uh, we've seen slow and steady growth over the years to uh, uh, maintain a congregation of about 150 uh, communicants. And it was the giving in those early months from the uh, Presbytery and the denominational committee from Worldwide Outreach that helped us get our start. We've um, promoted the thank offering from our very first year of existence. Uh, even as a small new church, we announced and promoted and prayed for the uh, thank offering uh, to encourage our people to participate in the whole work of the whole church. The key to the growth of thank offering here at Westminster comes from a suggestion from my friend, Pastor Larry Wilson. Some decades ago, he said, we need to offer the thank offering for a month at a time rather than a week at a time. So I asked our session about that and uh, was able to persuade them to do a thank offering month every year. The whole month of November is our missions month we focus on the thank offering. We give our people four or five opportunities then to give to the thank offering and uh, it works much better. Uh, as we do that, people who could uh, would hesitate to give $500 a week can suddenly see that $100 a week over five weeks is possible in their budget. And it, it enables more people to give more to our missions. We also ask people to pray for our home and foreign missionaries, as we do every week from the pulpit uh, on a rotating basis. We promote uh, New Horizons and use especially the November issue with the takeout uh, prayer uh, calendars with all the missionary pictures. We use every occasion we can to explain to people the OPC way that as a church family, together we support the whole work of the whole church. And our book of order says the minister is to lead the way in encouraging liberal giving in the church. So here are some ways I've used. Maybe you can use uh, some of them. I think the most important, again, uh, to, uh, to review is that a month of giving. Give the people time with their vacations and visits and absences to uh, have a couple times to give to, uh, to the thank offering. Uh, we do a banquet almost every year to introduce the thank offering, uh, challenge the people with, with goals. We set church goals. We try to beat our previous year's giving uh, year after year with challenges to the people. Uh, I write a letter every year uh, that goes to every home, a personal letter encouraging them to pray and give generously to the thank offering. We bring in visiting missionaries and staff to uh, exhort the folks. Uh, we also have a, uh, a special envelope we use. I've never been fond of the old black and white envelopes that are provided for everyone. We live in a day of color TVs for everybody now, not the old black and white of the 50s. So what we do is provide every year from church supply houses colored Thanksgiving envelopes. A uh, different one every year. Come, you thankful people, come. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. They're great. They're very visual and seasonal, and uh, we put them everywhere, in the bulletins, in the pews, on the book table, in the letters. People get a multitude of them to encourage them towards generous and regular giving to the thank offering. Here at Westminster, supporting the uh, annual thank offering and our worldwide outreach regularly, weekly on our uh, church uh, budget has uh, been a great encouragement to our members. It's given them an outward focus, a focus on others, on giving, on missions, on praying for others and their needs, not just their own. We've seen our members take that a step further and some of them have gone to uh, Quebec for mission trips, some to Uganda. Uh, our presbytery as well has been helped. So there are many advantages in focusing on the thank offering, the missionaries of our church for the good of our church. Not just paying the bills and meeting expenses, but giving offerings to glorify God and by His grace grow the church.